Welcome to the tutorial on how to use the Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System, or the BRFSS. To get here, you can just Google BRFSS, that's B-R-F-S-S, or you can go to cdc.gov slash BRFSS. As you can see in the search bar here, uh, that will bring you directly here to the screen. So the BRFSS is a very large database of health-related information. Uh, it's collected every year in the United States through a telephone survey. And you're going to need this tool for two reasons. The first will be to complete your online class assignment, but this is the same tool you'll be using for assignment three. We'll go ahead and do an example of how to use the BRFSS to query data about Nevada. Uh, and when you go ahead and work on your assignment three data, you'll be doing the same process, but you'll be using any state but Nevada. So we'll start here on the BRFSS main page. As you scroll down, you'll see a choice to go to Prevalence Data and Data Analysis Tools. Uh, when I click on that, it'll bring me to the place where I'll find the link to my query tool, uh, similarly named Prevalence and Trends Data. So I'll go ahead and pull that up. And as I scroll down, you can see different ways that you can query the database about health topics. Uh, we're going to start by limiting our results to the state of Nevada. You can do that by clicking on the drop down or over here on the state. So I'll go ahead and click on the state. Uh, and that's going to limit our results to results from Nevada. After we pull up the Nevada screen, uh, then we can start to narrow down on the uh, health information that we'd like to retrieve. Uh, we'll start with class, and this is the major category of the question that you'd like to ask. If I click on the drop down here, you can see that some of the major categories include cholesterol awareness, chronic health indicator, indicators, fruit and vegetable consumption, um, immunization. So lots and lots of choices, lots of ways that you can investigate this information. Uh, we're going to stick with alcohol consumption for this example, uh, although you will have to use an example, you will have to use another health category for your in-class activity. Uh, let's see, so we'll go over here to topic and this helps us to narrow down exactly what we're looking for within our class or major category of question. Uh, we're going to look at uh, binge drinking, okay, so go ahead and click on, we'll click on binge drinking uh, and then click go. And that's going to bring up information for us on binge drinking in the state of Nevada among people who responded to the survey. Uh, as we scroll down, uh, we'll see those results. Um, first, they're going to be presented in graph form, and this is a great way to get a visual sense of how that breaks down. Um, we'll see here first our uh, binge drinking definition, males having five or more drinks on one occasion, females having four or more drinks on one occasion, uh, and maybe just a quick public health tip here to maybe stop and think about your own alcohol consumption habits and whether you really are comfortable with the uh, definition of that as binge drinking. Uh, but moving on from there, uh, let's talk about how we collect the data for your assignment. Uh, so this is our strict yes, no uh, answer in all groups. It is presented in that chart format, but since you're going to need to be recording exact percentages, Next, you're going to want to switch over here to the table. As we look at that same information presented in table form, you'll see that the percent of the number of people who said yes and the number of people who said no appears right up here at the top. So when we interviewed, um, We've got uh, about 4,000 people who responded to this question. This is our N, or the number of people who responded. Uh, about 15.8% of them said yes, that they had uh, consumed alcohol in this pattern. Uh, and about, about 85% said no. All right, so we've got our data here. And next, we're going to need to fill it in onto our um, BRFIS worksheet. Uh, so if you take a look at that, you will see um, this is where that overall information belongs. So in this case, I would have filled out that my topic was alcohol consumption, binge drinking, uh, and the year of my data was 2016. You'll see that when we flip back to our uh, BRFSS results. So this is where my overall results would go, that information that we just filled up. So you can go ahead and type them in here. Uh, so that's the overall um, information, but an important part of the, looking at this data is going ahead and breaking it down by different categories. Uh, oh, by the way, here's that year 2016. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do our first breakdown now, and we'll do that by clicking on the View By drop-down. Uh, so we'll go ahead and switch to Gender here, and we'll see that the results change a bit. Rather than just getting an overall yes-no percentage, 
we'll see this broken down for men and women. Uh, so about 20% of the males who responded said that they did drink alcohol in this pattern, uh, and about 12% of women said yes to this. So if we switch back over to our Burfus worksheet, you'll see how we have this breakdown. We'll have the number of uh, the percent of yes for men, and then the percent of no for men, and then the percent of yes responses for women, and the percent of no responses for women. So that's how you pull the information for your gender breakdown. And we're going to continue through uh, and do that for the age groups that are listed on the worksheet, the racial ethnic background groups that are listed, levels of education, and income. I am going to stop flipping back and forth to the forum because it is pretty straightforward and I imagine that you can take it from here. Uh, so let's go back to the Burfus and we'll see again how we change that breakdown. So we started with our overall response and then we looked at gender. Uh, now we're going to move on and do age group. So I'll click on age group and it will update and we'll see a similar breakdown but this time for yes and no by age group. So here we'll see uh, 18 to 24, 25 to 34 and continuing on for about 10 year segments until we get to 65 and over where they're all grouped together. Uh, up here we've got the percentage of people who say yes and then the percentage of people who say no. If you wanted to take a look at this and describe a trend, it um, would be pretty straightforward to say that as you looked at the breakdown by age group, Binge drinking seemed to be most common in the youngest age group and least common in the oldest age group. And you will have to describe these trends for assignment three. So as you're looking at your data, be thinking about how you could describe that. Sometimes there's no pattern and you just need to say that. Uh, but in this case, we can see that there's a clear pattern that emerges. Binge drinking decreases as age increases. All right, so that's our age group breakdown. Uh, now we'll go ahead and take a look at our next subcategory. Uh, and this is racial ethnic background. So the data will update and we'll see responses. Okay, so this brings up our information by racial ethnic background group, the number of people who said yes uh, to or no to this response. Um, so if we look at how this data appears, we do see something interesting here, and that's these cells where there's a per, where there's an asterisk instead of data. Uh, one thing that we run to run into with biostatistics is that if our sample is too small, if we don't have enough people in the group, then we can't do anything statistically with the data because it's just not a large enough sample. Um, and that's what we see down here in the footnote. So that tells us that among the people who responded to the survey in Nevada, um, that there were too few people to have any meaningful results in these categories who said yes to this question. Um, now, for your purposes, you can kind of look at the no, right? And you know that 92.7% of the people who identified as American Indian or Alaskan Native non-Hispanic, um, they said no, right? Um, so then you can subtract 92.7% from 100 and you can fill in a percent for up here and you could do the same here. Since we're not doing anything further with these statistics, there's no problem in doing that. And then if we look at the Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander non-Hispanic, uh, they might just not have had enough people who fit into that category uh, who filled out the survey. So we can go ahead and slide back over this way. You can see the full set of data. If you ever have a large group, it might kind of disappear and you need the slider bar. Um, so you'd pull this information and you'd fill out the yes and no columns on your Burfus worksheet. All right, so that's racial ethnic background. Uh, and now we'll switch to do education attained. This will break that same data down by education level. All right, so as we look at this, we see our categories less than high school high school or GED, some post high school or college graduate. Uh, and we can see our yes and no percentages, again, spelled out by each category. So you transfer these yes and no percentages over to your worksheet for the question that you're interested in pursuing. And then you move on to your last category, which is household income. As the data updates, again, we'll see some general brackets here, less than 15, moving up by about $10,000 a year. Uh, and then our final category, 50,000 plus. We see our yeses and our noes break down. If I was going to describe the trend that I saw here, I would probably say that the uh, rates of binge drinking were lowest in low income populations um, and that the uh, higher income populations, once you got above $25,000 uh, per year, were pretty similar. So that'd be how I would summarize that. Again, you don't need that for this worksheet, but you will need that for assignment three. So that's the tour of how to use the Burfus to assemble your data. For your assignment for your class, uh, you'll need to complete the worksheet based on Nevada uh, and then any other kind of question besides this alcohol consumption binge drinking example that I just did. So choose any other question for the state of Nevada and that will allow you to complete your in-class worksheet.
When you move on to do assignment three, that's when you need to switch to any state other than Nevada, although you're welcome to do the same question uh, if you like that you investigated here for your in-class activity. If you have any questions, please send an email, uh, and hopefully this helped you to uh, figure out how to work with the Burfus to complete your class activities.